Amy is a very dedicated agent, even when she is pregnant, she still wears tights to fight crime. Amy, who was supposed to go to the hospital to give birth, Amy sees the criminal Jones, so Amy immediately called his teammates to arrest Jones. But Jones threw a time bomb, and the agents were instantly pinned in the air, even passers-by were not spared, and were frozen in place, seeing that Jones was about to leave, Amy was in a hurry, she took the cable car downstairs and landed in her car. Amy immediately drove after him, and a fast and furious scene was staged, unexpectedly, Jones' car threw a bunch of steel thorns from the rear of the car, the agent's car is powerful, easily dodging the steel thorns on the ground. Amy pressed the air conditioner switch, and a rocket shell directly blasted Jones' car into the sky, but Jones' car was no ordinary car, allowing Jones to land on the ground unscathed, seeing that Jones was about to run, Amy ran after him with a big belly, Amy chased to an alley, Jones didn't run away, and called out several big men directly, Amy is not too wordy, a left uppercut, a right uppercut, suddenly, the baby in Amy's stomach moved a few times. So Amy had to discuss with the baby in her stomach that she will give birth to you later, so don't worry, then he kicked the big man down, holding a 9 month belly and posing. At this time, the teammate finally arrived and successfully captured the criminal Jones, and Amy was carried into the ambulance to the hospital to give birth. Countdown with Amy's husband Arthur. A year later, Amy, an agent, not only has to cope with a difficult job, but also has to take care of several children. Jones, who was arrested a year ago, has been released from prison today, and they teamed up with Lester, who manipulated time, to make a big news. They said on TV that they would steal the time of everyone in the world, and Amy was so scared that she took her child to the Secret Service headquarters, however, the danger is approaching quietly, after being released from prison. Jones not only united with Lester, but also said on TV that they want to take away everyone's time, and only the time gem can stop them, however, the time stone was in the hands of Amy's daughter, but they were quickly located. A few men came to Amy's house with electromagnetic guns, and fired the guns to blast the steel door into pieces, fortunately, Amy was well prepared, under the leadership of the dog, the two children took the elevator to the basement, and the subordinates also found the entrance of the basement and opened the entrance with a cannonball, and then entered the basement, fortunately, the two children got on the plane in time and escaped here in time, after a bumpy flight, the two children finally arrived at the secret service headquarters, where they were picked up by the subordinates arranged by Amy, who showed them around the secret service headquarters and gave them each a small gift, on the other hand, Amy was on a mission, since the family had no money to hire a nanny, Amy had to take the baby to work and make milk powder for the baby, however, when Amy catches up, she falls into Jones' trap, Jones called out dozens of men to surround Amy, but Amy didn't panic in the slightest, before, she could easily overwhelm his men with a big belly, let alone without a big belly now, Amy flung out the milk powder and diapers with her backhand, and knocked Jones's men to the ground with three or two blows. Seeing that the situation was not good, Jones got on his motorcycle and started running. At Secret Service headquarters, two little kids are at it again, wanting to fight crime. The pair try to sneak out, but are spotted by agents. Fortunately, the dog pulled out a lot of oil, and the agents fell to the ground. But there were too many agents, and they were about to be caught. At the critical moment, the dog pulled out a lot of steel balls and threw the agents to the ground again. Afterwards, Jack and Lisa ran into the portal of the headquarters with the dog, and were directly teleported to Lester's lair. Here is a very huge clock. Jack and Lisa ran around with their dogs, but within a few steps they were frozen in mid-air, unable to move. Jack and Lisa who ran into Lester's lair were caught and fell into a very dangerous situation. The Lester in front of him is stealing the time of the people of the world. Under his control, time is passing by rapidly, in just a few minutes. Countless days and nights have passed, if this continues, the human race will come to an end in a few days. Fortunately, Amy arrived in time and activated the equipment of Jack and Lisa. Lisa threw out the green lightning whip directly, one whip at a time. The subordinates would be injured if they touched it, and they would die if they rubbed it. Jack raised his iron fist and smashed the ground, knocking them all down. Seeing that there were more and more people, Lisa tied Daly's feet with a whip and started to circle around, after a few circles, there was no one who could stand still, however, Jones quietly released the robotic fly, and while they were fighting, the fly stole Lisa's time stone, Amy and the others had no choice but to retreat first, back at secret service headquarters, Jack and Lisa inadvertently discovered that there was something wrong with an agent's watch, because his watch was exactly the same as Lester's, it turned out that he was Lester, Lester knew that his identity was exposed, so he directly locked the steel door and destroyed the fingerprint lock, trapping Jack and Lisa inside, immediately afterwards, Lester pressed his watch and fixed everyone in place, not only the people from Secret Service headquarters were pinned down, but even Amy who sneaked into Lester's lair was also pinned down, however, Jack and Lisa who were trapped couldn't open the door with various methods, instead, the dog next to them kicked the door open, however, before Jack and Lisa took a few steps, they were met by Jones who was stealing at the headquarters, and he was directly arrested and taken to Lester's lair. A T this time, Lester has opened the time vortex, it turned out that he didn't want to destroy the world, but wanted to go back to the past so that he could see his father again, Lester has traveled through countless times, but all ended in failure, but this time Lester succeeded and finally saw his father and Lester even shook hands with his father. However, when Lester came out, he turned into a white-haired old man. Lester finally understands that time cannot go backwards, and the dead cannot be resurrected. People should look forward in their lifetime. Instead of being immersed in the past and unable to get out, eventually, Lester restores time, returning everyone to normal. However, at this time Jones secretly got the time stone and said that he wanted to rule the world. But after only three seconds of arrogance, Arthur, who fell from the sky, handcuffed Jones and arrested Jones. Amy's family is finally reunited.